I'm Nika Burns, and we're sitting here in the dress circle of my, one of my beautiful theatres, Garrick Theatre on Charing Cross Road. I had my first Birmingham hip resurfacing in 2002, which is 10 years, a whole decade this year. I found it very difficult to get treatment. I did something which I think you'd find very hard to do today, which was I went and auditioned surgeons. Uh, my favourite was surgeon number two, who said, looked at the x-rays and said, mm, well, Mrs. Burns, I can see that you've got a real problem here and you're undoubtedly in a great deal of pain, but I'm not going to help you because you're far too young for an operation like this. But I've got some very good advice for you, which you must heed. Clearly, you're a lady that lives in the fast lane. Move into the slow lane. I, I, I can't believe it, really, that this day and age, in my 40s, when I felt I had so much to achieve, so much I wanted to do, I would be told just to give up on my life. I was in a great deal of pain. I, I wasn't mobile. The pain is depressing. It's totally debilitating. It's extremely difficult to manage on a day in, day out, day in basis. So after a lot of research, I finally ended up going to see Mr. McMinn in Birmingham. And having talked to him, I felt very certain that the Birmingham hip, hip resurfacing was the right operation for me at my age and for someone who had a lot of self-expectation to be have a very active life, to achieve a great deal. It was absolutely the right decision. Um, the years following my first Birmingham hip resurfacing were, have been the most productive the, and actually the happiest and best years of my life so far. In 2005, I bought four beautiful West End theatres from Andrew Lloyd Webber, and a few years later, we added the fifth vaudeville. And it's essential that, in what I do, that you're really mobile. I simply couldn't do it. I couldn't own the theatres, I couldn't produce the plays if I wasn't able to be very physically active. I couldn't walk between the theatres, I couldn't walk up the stairs. And the theatres have a lot of steps. I work very hard because I want to, because I love what I do, and there's no way that you could do a 70-hour week if you were dealing with pain on the daily level. So you can imagine how I felt when um, my other hip uh, started to go. And in 2011, I had my other hip done and my second Birmingham hip resurfacing. There's absolutely no question that I would go back to Mr. McMinn. And frankly, I would have waited for months um, to have it done by him, how could it be better than go to the surgeon who invented the operation? No brainer. When you actually look at statistics, the amount of people that have problems with having any kind of metal implant is relatively small. When I went to see Mr. McMinn a couple of weeks ago to, to do the sort of checkout on my new hip, um, I asked him to look at whether there were signs of wear and tear on my hip resurfacing of 2002. And he said there were no signs in it. And then you look at the x-rays, they were both, the new one and the old one, you know, looked identical. I haven't had any problems. I said I'm, I'm 10 years graduate on the one hip. I'd say to anybody is, do your research. One of the very important things is to look at the statistics for the surgeon in terms of what their success slash failure rate is. And I know when I looked up Mr. McMinn's, they're just fantastic. I mean, they're really brilliant success rate. And um, I want to be happy and I want to be successful as part of that. And I just felt I couldn't be in safer hands. So, but at the end of the day, everybody has to take some personal responsibility for the treatment that they're choosing to have. So do your research really read about it, talk to other patients, to people who have done it, do the work, speak to people, and know then when you go up to have your op, whatever you've chosen, and whoever you've chosen to do it with, that you feel really confident that you've made the best choice for you, just as I know that I did for me. So I had my first, first hip resurfacing in my 40s, my second one in my 50s. There have been 10 years of happy, productive, achieving life, so I'm looking forward to at least another 20 years of fulfilled working life and traveling. And I love the fact that I can dance again. I 
love dancing. And I'm looking forward to my husband whizzing me around when we celebrate Valentine's Day in two weeks' time. The only thing I would say is that you have to be a diligent patient yourself. And I've worked very, very hard at the physio. I've been doing physio, hydrotherapy. I had a goal that 10 weeks after my op, I wanted to be able to walk without a limp and without my crutches. And I hit my goal. And I have no limp. And I will never have a limp again. Thank you, Mr. McMinn. I cannot recommend this operation enough.